Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see the paper Software Fault Protection using Quartre Based K-Means Clustering Algorithm. It comes under the domain Data Mining. This paper is mainly used for predicting faults in program models using unsupervised techniques like clustering. In machine learning, unsupervised learning refers to the problem of trying to find hidden structure in unreliable data. Unsupervised learning is closely related to the problem of density estimation in statistics. We do not know the class labels and may not know the number of classes is also called unsupervised classification. Clustering is a process of partitioning a set of data in a set of meaningful subclasses. Clustering is nothing but a collection of data objects that are similar to one another. In existing k-means clustering is used for clustering process. K-means is simple and widely used clustering algorithm, but it has some inherent drawbacks. The user has to initialize the number of clusters, which is very difficult to identify in most of the cases. It requires selection of the suitable initial cluster centers, which is again subject to error. Since the structure of the cluster depends on the initial cluster centers, this may result in an inefficient clustering. Finally, the k-means algorithm is very sensitive to noise. In this paper, the quartry based K-means algorithm has been applied for predicting faults in program models. The objective of this paper are twofold. First one is the quartries are applied for finding initial cluster centers for K-means algorithm. The second one is the quartry based algorithm is applied for predicting faults in program models. In the quartry based k-means algorithm also has some drawbacks. First, the k-means algorithm is very sensitive to noise. Using both quartry and k-means, the overall processing time was also increased. Finally, the value of the threshold is not clearly described. To overcome all limitations in our process, we propose fuzzy k-means clustering algorithm for software fault prediction process. First, we select the input data set and apply the attribute selection technique. Attribute selection technique is used to select the important attributes and reduce the number of attributes. Attribute evaluation approach is used to evaluate the attribute and return the weight of the attribute. Then, apply the ranking method for get the most weighted attributes. After the attribute selection, we get the reduced number of attributes. These reduced attributes are used to clustering approach. Given a database of n objects, a partitional clustering algorithm constructs k partitions of the data where each cluster optimizes the clustering criterion such as the minimization of the sum of squared distance from the mean within the each cluster. Fuzzy C means is a one type of partitional clustering approach. To cluster the data points, we are using fuzzy C-means clustering algorithm. After the clustering approach, each cluster maintains the centered value. Metric threshold approach is used to define the threshold value. Compare this metric threshold and centered data values. If any metric value of the centered data points of a cluster was greater than the threshold, then the cluster was labeled as faulty, otherwise it was labeled as non-faulty. This is the flow of our proposed work. First, we collect the software fault data set. Get all values from the data set and store into database. Then, get the attribute names for the attribute selection process. The data set contains totally 30 number of attributes. We take all attributes into our process. It takes so much time for processing and increase the work burden. So, we reduce the total number of attributes and consider high relevance attributes only. Calculate the relevance of an attribute using attribute evaluation process. We use Vega tool for attribute selection and ranker. After complete the attribute selection process, we display the all selected attributes. Okay. Then next one is fuzzy C-means clustering algorithm. A cluster is a collection of objects which are similar between them and are dissimilar to the objects belong to other cluster. Fuzzy C-means is a method of clustering which allows one piece of data to belong to one or more clusters. The data are initially clustered and then performing fuzzy C-means algorithm. After the clustering process, we separate clustered data and clustered centroid.
this centered values are used to check the fault of the process then then define the threshold value we define the threshold parameters using lines of code unique operator total operator total operand and some other attributes first we select the threshold attributes and we define the threshold value of the attribute then compare our threshold value into centered value of the cluster if if the metric value of the center data point of a cluster was greater than the th threshold then the cluster was labeled as faulty otherwise it was labeled as non faulty next we see the running procedure of a project first open the netbeans open our uh, java project into netbeans then add all jar files into libraries click first.java just right click that first.java and click run file click open button for select the input file click ai3.xls file click view button all data values are displayed then click the attribute selection button click view button for displaying all attribute values totally we have 30 attributes then enter number of attributes to select click attribute selection button this is the final attribute values then click view selected attributes then click the view button the selected attribute values are displayed then click the fuzzy cluster button totally we have seven clusters but C1 and C7 has the attribute values. C1 has totally 60 values and the C7 has 3 values. Then click check fault button. First select the attribute to define the threshold. Then enter the threshold value. Click the define button. The threshold value is 0 0.5. Click OK. Then click check fault button. This is the faulty records and this is the non faulty records. Click graph 1. Totally we have 30 attributes. After the attribute detection technique, we have only 9 attributes. Click graph 2. We have only one record as faulty and the remaining all records are non faulty. Thanks for listening.